All right, Melanie. You've challenged me a couple times. It's my turn to challenge you. What can you do with $20? Hi guys, it's Marissa from What is an Art, and as you saw in the clip just now, I've decided to challenge Melanie from a godly home. She's challenged me a couple of different times over the past winter and spring uh, with some of the challenges she's been involved in, and I decided to come up with my own, and I am challenging her, and I would like to challenge any of you who would like to be involved. So what the challenge is, is a budget shopping trip but it's more than just shopping because we're going to take what we buy and we're going to change it into something new so I've given Melanie twenty dollars and we are going to go out and we're gonna go shopping thrift stores yard sales um, any kind of place that we can think of like that and we're going to try to find one or more items that we can repurpose and reuse into something that we can either use in our own homes or give as a gift or you name it. I'm not limiting this to just um, art. I'm not limiting it to just sewing, just painting. If you are interested in doing it but you're not really an artsy person, go grocery shopping and see what you can do. The trick is that the first time you go out, you have to spend as close to the $20 as you can. You don't want to spend over the $20, but you don't want to spend $5 on the $20 budget. Because as the summer progresses, your budget is going to get smaller. So the first one is $20. Uh, spend as close to that as you can. And spend it on the item you're going to be remaking. Try not to use that money towards um, tools or product to remake the item, but on the actual item or items needed. Uh, use a lot of what's at your own home. This is kind of a, just about being creative and having fun. That's not to say you can't get some things. Um, say you need sandpaper. Where can you get it inexpensively? I can get it at the Dollar Tree. And so I could get a little bit and still stay within that budget. But I don't want to spend $5 of my budget on an item to refinish and then $15 on um, product to refinish it. So just stick to that budget as close as you can. Get creative. Have fun. The point is to have fun. Um, challenges like this are what I really have a lot of fun with and I am an artsy person so again that's where I'm gonna have fun but I don't want to make it so you won't have fun too change it up if you need to you'll see in a later video that I've even had to change it up a little bit compared to what I originally planned um, but yeah have fun just explore and maybe it's a good excuse to have a, a day with a friend or a family member um, and, and just an excuse to go out. For me, it gave myself permission to go yard sailing this summer, which I really enjoy, or thrift store shopping, or, or any of those things. So, um, just, just have fun. And then as the summer goes on, your budget drops $5. So the first one was $20, the second one will be 15 the third will be 10, five on down, and then you are left with, if you're up to it, trying to do something completely free. Um, whether it's from your own home that you find something that you can reuse, repurpose, something is given to you. Uh, my dump has a reusable section that is free. So, Maybe you'll see something on the side of the road that looks like you can redo it. Anything like that. But the, the goal is to just push yourself. And some people are going to find that free section to be the challenge. Or to be the really hard part of this whole challenge. And then others will find the higher 
priced end, like the $20, to be more of a challenge. However you end up deciding to do it, even if you don't have a channel and you decide to do it, share your stories with me. Let me know what you've made. Um, send me some pictures. Uh, just have fun with it. Hope you enjoy.